Hi everyone, good morning, happy Saturday. Thank you for being here with me today. Getting ready for Valentine's on to, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? The 14th, so that's um, Monday's 11. So Thursday, Valentine's, yes. That's the talk of the town. And so today I wanted to talk to you guys about how love comes around, right? Because we're so focused on how we want other people to love us. We're so focused on whether we feel loved or don't feel loved or whether we feel that people take us for granted or taking advantage of us. And I know in the whole dating scene, a lot of times that's what it's all about. I don't want to be taken advantage of. I want to make sure that um, the person's really into me or that they're really being authentic in what they're saying, that they don't just want to use me and leave me. And so all this talk about love and love coming around, I want you all to take a look at what your love story is. What has been your experience with love in the past that has left you perhaps scarred or has left you in this thought process that something could possibly go wrong in your connection with love or trying to attract love or wanting to feel loved by your partners. And so I'm inviting you all to fall into this place where you know that you can love yourself and all the aspects of you the way that you would like somebody else to do that. Because so many times we are expecting somebody else to love us in a way that we don't love ourselves. And when we're doing it that way, we're really giving mixed messages. And I'm gonna give you an example. Many years ago, I was working with a family and it was this husband and wife, it was this couple, and he kept telling her how beautiful she is, and I love my wife, she's so beautiful, I love all, everything about her, I love all of her. And the reason why they had come into, um, into their sessions is because he was getting tired of telling her how much he loved her and how beautiful he found her while she was telling him and herself all the time she was overweight, she didn't look pretty enough, that he was lying to her. So here I am watching this couple sitting in front of me and, and he's saying, can you please convince my wife that I love her? And I would be there, it's like, well, I can't really do that um, because he was getting really tired of saying these things and her putting him down for it. So she would say things like, no, you're just saying that because you're just trying to cover up or you don't want me to lose weight or you're not being honest with me. And so he kept getting put down for telling her how much he loved her and how much he found this beauty in her. And yes, she was overweight, but he loved her like that. And he said he loved her like that. He would tell her in front of me. And they had been together like this for about 17 years. And he was at a point where he didn't want to do this anymore. He was like, I mean, I'm so tired of telling her how much I love her and how beautiful she is and what a wonderful woman I believe that she is and that I, I love her just the way that she is. And every time that I say that to her, she tells me how she's not, look at this, I'm fat, I'm ugly, my face, I need some work. Um, you're just saying that because you're just lying, you're trying to be nice when you're just not being honest with me, you're lying. And so he felt that he was being pushed away until the point that he was being pushed away and he walked away from that marriage. Um, even though he loved her and he had been with her for 17 years, he just said that he didn't want to try anymore. He had gotten tired of being shot down every time he gave her a compliment. And so I'm bringing that story up today because I know for us women, it becomes very difficult to receive compliments yeah, we've got this idea that we're going to meet our Prince Charming and he's going to sweep us off our feet and he's going to be this amazing guy who's going to tell us how beautiful we are, how much they love us, how much they want to do everything with us or, or uh, spend the rest of their lives with us. But if we're not willing to allow that, then we're going to push it away just like this woman pushed it away. And so I'm asking you to be very aware of your own love stories. I want you to become aware of how you are in this integration of love with partners, with, um, with a person in your life that you're trying to get to know or that you're allowing them to get to know you. I want you to be very authentic and honest with yourselves first. Because if you want somebody to be honest with you, you've gotta be honest first. You've gotta be honest with yourself and you've gotta be honest with them. 
And so I want you to stop dismissing and, and playing down that whatever your love stories have been in the past, they don't define who you are today. So you don't have to have that same experience over and over again. You get to choose the next time around to have it different. But it all starts with you. It always starts with us, us first. And for you to come to terms with, if you want love and you want to fall in love and you want somebody to help you feel loved and to fall in love with you, then we go back to just falling in love with yourself first and reminding yourself that you are worthy and deserving of all this love. But when you look in the mirror, if you don't like what you see and you keep saying, oh, no, because I'm too fat, I'm too fat, I'm too ugly, my hair doesn't look right, I need to do a lot of work on my face or on my body or anywhere. And you're making all of these, um, you're saying all these things about you, then you're not in love with you and accepting yourself fully because for that, there's a lot of things out there that you can do. You can work on yourself. You can do more exercise. You can eat better. You can perhaps stop the alcohol, you can. There's a lot of things that you choose that you can do for yourself, which is part of loving you, is deciding that you want a different experience in your love story than you've had in the past. So I'm leaving you all with this because there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of red all over the place, there's a lot of talk about love this week, and I want you all to honor the love that you deserve to feel from within you and within your heart and rather than waiting for it to come from the external and from people outside of you, that you can honor yourself and just allow yourself to, to nurture yourself more this week, to remind yourself that you are so beautiful inside and out, and that the things that you would like to fix or see better, that you can always tweak them, you can always alter and change that. But most importantly, put out into the universe, put out into your partners what you want them to feel, and that starts with you first. So I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing week. Happy Valentine's to everybody. Lots of love to all of you. Internal love first, and then you can do the external stuff. Anyway, have yourselves an amazing weekend. Thanks again for tuning in.